Oh, what's going on guys? I'm gonna make a, another video here. This one's gonna be a lot different than normal. Normally I do stuff on cars or Cadillac generally. But uh guess I'm gonna show you guys what I feed these two gorgeous boys. Butch, Bronson. Hey. That's Bronson. That's Butch. They're actually the same age. They came from the same litter. But I've had him first. I've had him for a month now. And uh he's almost twice the weight as uh as but so i'm gonna just show you real quick what i show them or what i feed them so i definitely go raw i do a little bit of kibble also but uh, i go raw this is salmon and chicken half and half wild caught of course i don't feed my dogs bullshit if i don't eat it i'm not gonna feed it so here you have for both i'm gonna have some uh half and half again chicken and salmon I go in and toss a little bit of coconut oil uh, for the water. Do the water with a little, a tiny bit of uh, of apple cider vinegar with the mother, of course. You don't want that other thing, the, the filtered and refined nonsense. Uh, Use origins. Uh, I saw a video of my man's from uh, man, what's the kennel down in uh, Louisiana? But the shit, yeah, I love this. And just to top it off with the kibble, just to soften it up a little bit, I do a little bit of this this oat drink. Oat, I don't know, I call it oat milk. A bit like that, because you don't want to give dogs cow milk. And for the kibble, I use Victor. I use Victor and Blue Buffalo. It's like a third Blue Buffalo and two thirds Victor. And uh, yeah, I mean, they like that stuff, but just because it's a little bit hard and I don't want them to hurt their gums. Not that it should have a problem, but I know the coconut oil at the very least is good for just about everything dog related. Just dump one on one. Look at these two trying to be smart over here. <laughs> oh, one more thing that I forgot that I also do. I put a little bit of honey in it. It's a little bit crazy, but it definitely helps the dog's immune system. My little one had a he had a little bit of a flu when I first got him. And um, he's definitely almost at 100% right now. That honey and all this stuff. I guess just the diet in general, as long as you got a, a really well balanced diet, overall is good for the dog. Uh, let's put some of the honey in here before you mix it. Hold on, let me, because we got to put that origins in there so you don't, you're not over mixing it. Okay. Is that the wrong side? That's the yeah, wrong that's side. Yeah, that's the wrong side. Yeah. I'm gonna do this one-handed. Sorry, guys. This may not be the best, uh, best quality video. I'm trying to do everything with one hand and record with the other. That's enough. I don't want too much honey because then they'll want everything with honey. These dogs are spoiled. I mean, you know, you could judge me, whatever. These are these are like my cats. They're house dogs. They're never gonna be outside long you know for long. they go out to pee and poop and chase the, the flirt pole that's it oh my god get this, get this origins so if you don't know think uh if you ever heard of dynavite that's kind of what origins is but it's not as expensive and you just mix it in with the kibble or whatever feed you're giving them Just mix it. Now the ratio, I like to do it, I guess, kind of depends on the time of the year. 
and how the dog is feeling. If he's feeling, if you, if you see them and they're all lethargic, you definitely want to go away from kibble and feed more raw. If you feel they're getting a little sick, that's why I'm giving one a little bit more kibble than the other one because he's, he's good. He's good to go. But my little sick pup, he's getting a lot more raw than the kibble, as you can see there. Every now and then I give him cheese too, just to spice it up a little bit and their food, change it up. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. All right, and that's their food. Now for the water, like I said, and you just do a little, little uh, cap full of uh, apple cider vinegar and then fill the water almost halfway to the bowl. And you could probably do two caps, but I only do the one. And I switch the water out on them like three times a day just to make sure they, they maintain or do, they just keep drinking fresh water. All right. Go. Right here while they're eating. A lot of people don't like touching their dogs. And this is the time that I take to make sure that I can correct their posture so that they eat. They eat, you know, like this guy, he's new here, he's new to the house. So he eats all clumsy looking and shit. But the one that's been here, he eats proper. So this is the time I take to actually correct the stance a little bit. Make sure that they're, you know, when they grow, they don't, uh, I don't know, they don't have that weird stance in the rear, in the, in the rear what is it, cow hawks or whatever it is. You know, you probably genetically can't fix any of that. <laughs> but physically, I'm going to fix as much as I can. But these are my boys. <laughs> 